Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about if you always should use auto layout in Figma for yourself and your team. Now, the answer is going to be it depends. And the reason being is that auto layout is a great tool, but just like any other tool, you should know when to use it and when it's best to avoid it or simply find an alternative. So in my personal opinion, auto layout should be used the most times whenever you can, but in specific instances. So for example, over here, I have this uh, file of uh, this uh, uh, startup that uh, I worked with uh, time ago, and uh, we had to create a website in a very fast way. So what we did over here is essentially uh, especially during the first uh, stages of the explorations, uh, I didn't really focus too much uh, on the auto layout because uh, speed was uh, the currency at this point. So when it comes uh, to things uh, like auto layout, uh, it does take uh, a bit of extra time uh, in uh, some instances. Uh, so you won't necessarily have uh, that uh, time when uh, speed uh, is currency. And uh, this is true also for the design system. If you want to create a perfectly crafted design system with all of the color styles, typography styles, uh, and whatnot, uh, it is going to take more time and resources uh, on uh, your behalf. So you want to be careful as to what is going to be the best ROI for that company. And essentially you want to figure out what is going to yield the most results in the fastest way. So what we did is we started without the auto layout and then moving forward, we actually implemented it back because it's not too difficult to actually take a step back implement uh, things like the auto layout uh, and uh, also add uh, all of the color styles, typography styles uh, to the design system if you structure things correctly as I'm teaching you in uh, the other uh, YouTube videos on my channel. So if this is something that uh, you're currently struggling with uh, your team, uh, feel free to book a call and uh, I can see how I can help you. Specifically, I've worked with uh, all sorts of companies from uh, Fortune 500 companies and large enterprises to startups that needed to raise their first uh, seed round. And uh, I can tell you, based on uh, the size and the stage of the company, the rationale behind uh, if you want to go with one tool or, or the other is going to change and it's going to make a big impact. You should also consider things uh, like uh, if you're working as a solo designer or if uh, you're working uh, within a team because uh, consistency within a team uh, is uh, going to play a major role. So that's uh, where things like uh, the design systems and uh, creating that consistent design framework uh, is going to become increasingly important. So you definitely want to keep uh, those aspects uh, in mind because as a solo designer, if you're working on a project, uh, it's just going to be easier to keep uh, the level of consistency because you really know your the style, you really know the, the colors and everything that you worked on. But uh, you cannot make assumptions that if you have one, two, three other designers on your team that they're just going to read your mind and uh, go through the past projects and uh, um, really maintain that level of consistency without some sort of indication or guideline of which is uh, you know, usually outlined in a design system, in a component library and using auto layout. So as you see, we talked about auto layout, but uh, it's actually a tool which is tightly interlinked with the bigger picture, which is uh, the design system and how you're going to structure this up. Now, on top of that, uh, there are going to be some designers uh, who are uh, a really big fan of auto layout and uh, they just work uh, as fast with auto layout uh, as they do with uh, the regular um, workflow that uh, a lot of designers were used 
prior the introduction about the layout and that is perfectly fine that is awesome and definitely power to you but what i realized is that especially if you're working on more complex uh, ui ux uh, elements uh, there is going to be some uh, rationale some uh, dynamics uh, that uh, if uh, you simply go with the traditional route uh, <clears throat> it is going to have uh, um, an impact in terms of uh, speed so that's one of the things that uh, you definitely want to keep in mind and uh, i hope uh, this video was helpful if you want to learn more about uh, design feel free to check out the other free videos on my channel i have over 800 videos and uh, feel free to check out my website which i'm going to leave in the link in the description geodesigns.com and uh, i'll see you in the very next video